All dead, all dead. I couldn't help them. I was was not there. I calm down, Milton. What happened? They killed the magicians of fire, all of them apart from me. And I was close to death as well. You'd better tell me the whole story from the beginning, one thing after the other. Okay, keep cool, Milton. Keep cool. It all started with the old mine caving in. The old mine caved in? Yes. It all happened very fast. Nobody in the mine made it out. The guards blocked the entrance to the mine. Lester and I took out the mountain fort. He told me about it. Where have the four of you been meeting so far? Oh, here and there. We meet. How could the mine cave in? I have no idea. Some of the diggers who were waiting in front of the entrance said something about a massive earthquake and a huge cloud of dust coming from the tunnel. Were you there? Yes. That's where I learned about the cave-in. What was that you said about the magicians of fire? I only know that they were killed by the ore baron shortly after the mine caved in. When I returned from our adventure under the Ring of Stone, the guards at the gate suddenly attacked me. They shouted words like, traitor and collaborator at me. I had a very narrow escape. Why would the ore barons want to kill the magicians? It doesn't make sense. That's right. The guards just didn't give me any opportunity to ask. They drew their swords immediately. Perhaps Diego knows more. He was in the camp when things got worse. You should hide. Far away from here. No. Diego and I agreed to keep an eye on the two gates and to warn our unsuspecting friends from the other camps. Please talk to Diego. Where can I find Diego? He's hiding on the other side of the old camp, near the back gate. Please talk to him. See you later. Thank you. 
quiet. Hello, Diego. I've already talked to Milton on the other side of the camp. Okay, so you already know what happened. But did you also hear about the planned raid on the free mine? A raid on the free mine? That's a long story. How could the old mine cave in? One of the diggers who survived it told us that they were digging, and they hit an underground river on the bottom level. When the water gushed into the mine, one of the supports broke, and the entire upper section collapsed. Only a handful of people managed to escape from the mine. Just tell me about it. It's not the first long story I've had to listen to. Well then, luckily I was in the Ore Baron's house when they got the news that the mine had collapsed. Gomez was hopping mad when he heard about the accident, and he was afraid that his position could be at stake. Of course. Who controls the ore controls the colony as well. That's right. Since he has no source of income anymore, the goods from the outside world won't come in anymore either. Nobody will work for him if he doesn't get another source of income soon. And that's the reason for the raid on the free mine? To be honest, that's Gomez's only chance to maintain his power. Two hours ago, two dozen guards set out for the free mine. I've seen the guards in front of the locked gates. Stay away from them. They'll attack anybody approaching the camp. They are afraid of somebody avenging the raid on the free mine. But what happened to the fire mages? Cristo and the other mages were the only people in the camp to remain rational. They forbade the raid and demanded a settlement with the two other camps. They forbade Gomez to raid the free mine? Well, yes. Cristo and the others shouldn't have been so self-confident. Gomez didn't trust them anymore, and had them perfidiously assassinated. What are you and Milton going to do now? We'll stay here for a while to warn some more friends so they don't bump straight into the guards. But you could do us a favor. Consider it done. Tell me what you want. Look out for Lester and Gorn. They need to know what happened here. Tell them that the four of us will meet at the same place as always. If I see them before you do, I'll warn them and send them to your meeting point. Thanks, my friend. You really seem to be an all right guy. Go now. We'll meet again later. That's mad. I need to warn the new camp. Then you must hurry up. They'll have almost reached the free mine. But they never get through the fortification. They don't need to get through them. A few months ago, they found a path that leads over the mountains and right to the free mine. And nobody else knows about it. Take care.